Hey guys, Law here. Aim here. Also known as T Twins Fit. So we're doing a little intro series, getting videos back up and going. So today we're going to be talking about why we became nutrition coaches. Yes, and then our second video, which will not be today, but we'll go into what we do and what we provide as a nutrition coach. So, to start, <laughs> just to kind of give a little background, for those of you who kind of been following us, not following us, we currently live in Charleston, South Carolina. New Yorkers in, in <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> yes. New Yorkers down We are South. New Yorkers at heart always, so right there in that heart. Um, we made huge career switches and leaps, and again, we won't go into super detail on this. Maybe we'll save this video for another, for another day, but um, just to kind of give those of you who are not familiar you know, with, with our, our story and you know our background, uh, we moved from Connecticut. We lived in Stanford, Connecticut for four years, five years about, um, originally from Long Island, so, quick backstory, we played soccer in college, Division One athletes, played soccer in college, then after college we graduated with, um, I graduated the business finance degree, graduated with an accounting degree, and I also went on to get my master's in accounting. Yep, and at that point we separated and I went and moved to Stanford, Connecticut. I stayed on Long Island to get my master's, and at the same time I was personal training, got my certification through that. That was back in 2011, and just dived into fitness and nutrition on the side while was, the game plan was to, you know, continue on doing accounting, and I did for a little bit, but, you know, then paths changed. Yep. So, kind of now we're taking ourselves four or five years past that, you know, we really started to realize, and again, we'll go into this, you know, what really kind of drived us to pursue our passion in health and fitness and then kind of became Equinox managers, and then from there, about after a year of that, you know, loving just being around people, helping people, started teaching group fitness classes at Equinox and privately training, and then from there decided to really grow and, and build T-Twins Fit, and basically it was born. <laughs> it was born so. so again, it's not a, you know, it's still growing, it's still a process, it may not be a pretty story, it's definitely bumps in the road, but I think ultimately our passion's driven us from day one. Um, we kind of knew the paths we were on, it was kind of a blueprint, we thought we had to stay on these Past. And again, this isn't a video on our entire stories because there's a lot more that goes into it. So if you guys want more info and more kind of us to elaborate on this stuff, please comment below or let us know. We'd be happy to kind of give a video on the struggles we've gone through making all these leaps. But I think ultimately it came down to it. We realized we wanted to start to do our own thing. We love helping people, but managing places, it, it doesn't allow you to coach and really get through to people on a one-on-one -on -one level the way you want. So it kind of, kind of helped us really realize, hey, we need to go back to what we were doing because um, we were always doing a little bit of coaching on the side, you know, whether it was an account. Accounting, Lauren was in finance. We were always helping people, whether it's people messaging us or kind of saying, hey, like, you know, what's your meal plan? What do you eat? What do you do for workouts? Supplements you take, all that stuff. Kind so of kind of to go off what Aim's saying, <laughs> it found us. I mean, simply said, I mean, it really did find us and we always knew we had a passion for it. I mean, even, you know, high school, college, like we always loved just being involved in sports and fitness and nutrition and whatever we could. I mean, we just can't help but want to give our all. So, so again, it's not really a, a hobby. I mean, it's a, it, it, maybe it was, but not really. I mean, there's a lot of coaches out there and we kind of wanted to go into real life, like letting people know that this isn't just a hobby for us. Like we literally left very lucrative accounting and finance careers to follow our passion, to help as many people as we possibly could. And again, that's still growing. We, we just started our own brand, you know, less than a year ago. So we really realized that there's a lot more that we can do and, and help and something that doesn't feel like work. You know, it's something we truly love to do what we do. And, um, you know, we really just want to share that with as many people as possible. Yeah. So kind of go into how it kind of found us. I mean, probably, even as you can tell the passion in this video, I can't like keep it all in. <laughs> I'm like telling trying to tell her to like shut up here so I can actually speak. So really, I mean it really did find us. Again, when we were in our finance and accounting um, careers, we would research articles, look up nutrition articles, fitness, whatever it was. I mean, whether it's bodybuilding.com. Um, I'll admit, I'll admit, there was definitely days where I probably should have been working on, you know, you know, financial statement tie outs or, you know, working in aura for accounting for an audit, you know, financial statement. I was looking up articles on nutrition and fitness and how I could help clients or just help myself and really dive into that. We'd be G chatting each other. I mean, you know, in Google chat, that was like your savior. You know, you'd be G chatting each other or sending emails, yep. you know, maybe send an email, you know, to a client in there too. <laughs> you're at it and actually get some work done but you know, we'll be sending each other ideas and that's really when we realize okay like you know we know we can make this an actual career and I think some people are afraid that they can't make their passion a career but we were like you know we may not know exactly what we want to do at this point you know back when we were in our finance and accounting careers but we're like we're gonna make this work you know we know it's not gonna be easy people are gonna look at you and be like uh, you're leaving you know almost six and there's still job. things that kind of pop up that were like do we take this do we kind of take this opportunity do we dive into this kind of program this topic there's so much you can do but again you just need to believe in what you're offering and what you want to do and just go for it so, kind of going, you know, she interrupts me every time. I, I can't even get a word out. It's 
She was born first, if anyone <laughs> didn't know. She is a minute older. So. A little bossier. <laughs> Can't help it. So, again, kind of going into, you know, we were in finance and accounting. You know, that's when we started to prep for our first NPC bikini competition. Um, really got into social media. I'll say Amy kind of got social media first, especially, you know, when she started. in 2012 and Instagram was kind of just, just, just taking just off. Just kind of yeah. taking off. And she told me, hey, Law, like, you know, get a social media and... I got one, I got Instagram, should say social media, but I got Instagram, <laughs> you guys know what I mean, I feel like they're all combined, so, you guys guess. got an Instagram, and then it's kind of when we started following a lot of fitness accounts, that's when we started following a few IFB pros, and kind of like, you know, like, what's this competition thing, like, we, we like competing, like, we've always been athletes, we love, you know, just competitive, challenging ourselves, just like competitive nature, so we found a coach, and we decided, you know, hey, let's, let's go for this, so... You know, we were still in our finance and accounting careers when we were, you know, prepping for our show. We had our, you know, kind of um, prepped meals. Fish you know. in the office, they hated us. Yeah, I mean, we, we were different, different it, jobs, you know, but we both have For all my friends out there that, you know, work with me, I'm sorry, but, you know, I know the office smelts here and there. I'd have friends peeking over our cubicle, you know, being like, oh, what do you, what do you got there today, you know? So the, the, the diet didn't change very much, though. So they pretty much got it down pat that it was my tilapia and asparagus, you know, which I'll say I don't really eat hardly anymore. But, tilapia I haven't had probably um, in two years. <laughs> but, yeah, so, you know, we, we, we started prepping. Can you finish the thought? I'm just throwing in little things here. All right, so we started prepping when we were in our finance and accounting careers, and I really do think it's, it's in that moment, kind of during our show, a little, a little bit more right after our show, we, we really click with us, like, okay, like, this is something that we really need to dive into more, yep. particularly because we just saw so many other people on social media that clean, you know, call themselves coaches, our coach included, who again was very famous, Instagram famous pro, pro. Um, who just lacked a lot of knowledge, say knowledge in general and guidance. So I think we really just wanted to be there for somebody else who maybe was in our would be would be be us in those shoes and basically their first show and not know what the hell's coming. And uh, granted, we we knew the basis of nutrition, we understood nutrition as far as performance and D one athletes, but. You know, in terms of aesthetically and kind of really knowing how to manipulate the body, that we really weren't as familiar with. So, you know, we, that's why we need to get a coach because we didn't know how to, you know. I know, also the posing, posing. all the, you know, things that go into competing. There's a lot more that goes into it. But I think, like Lauren is kind of explaining, that we realize there's a lot of people out there that are leading people in the wrong direction. You know, either whether it's a very restrictive diet or telling them, hey, sure, compete, not really knowing the things that go into the consequences or even just if someone's doing a show, just make sure it's something you want to do and you're doing it for the journey and not just to go get that trophy. And again, there's some people that are very competitive with it. They do multiple shows and this isn't really a video on shows or competing, but just the idea of nutrition is that we really realized our coach had no idea what she was doing. And to be honest, we did know what we were doing, but we never did a show before. So we were like, Hey, you know, she's done it. She's a pro. She must know what she's doing. No, <laughs> plain and simple. No, we simply like she. She would give us. I mean, I'll give. I mean, I, it's not a secret. Like this is one of the things I wanted to add in is like when we were, we were working in our jobs and we were prepping for our show. People were like, "Oh my god, like what diet are you on? Like what's a secret?" Let's be real here. There's no <laughs> secret. No, no secret at all. I mean, literally, our, our diets were so restrictive that there's no way but for us to to lose fat and lose weight and but we lose lost muscle. And it's really just yes. you know it's totally different. Yep. So, I mean, I kind of lost my lost train of thought as, as my things are going on here. But again, it's really just kind of... We were just going off that people wanted yeah. to know what we were eating, what our meal plan was. And to be honest, we didn't want to share with anyone. And not because we didn't want to help someone. It was because it wasn't something that was sustainable. It's actually or, the opposite. We wanted to help somebody, so yeah. we didn't want to give <laughs> them that plan yeah. because we knew it was The bad. plan was cookie cutter. didn't change for 12 weeks. And again, we kind of altered it ourselves a little bit, but we didn't want to steer too far from it because we kind of understood, hey, she knows what she's doing. She's a pro. So again, we wanted to trust the process and follow it. And there's a difference between trusting the process and trusting your coach. Um, you can trust the process and understand that things take time, especially when it comes to nutrition, but also trusting your coach. We wanted to trust her, but we also knew that, you know, other females that had her as a coach, cramp my leg. <laughs> that had her as a coach, were getting the same diet plan as us. Now, Lauren and I were almost 5'9", and, you know, competitive Division One athletes, a little more muscle tone, whereas someone that maybe has never even lifted a weight is getting the same diet as us. I mean, you can do the math there. It's not the same. Nutrition is customized to you individually, so... Yeah. And even the fitness piece, and I, I kind of got back my train of thought here. The, where I was going with my thought before was the, the workouts that she gave us didn't change for three months. Three months. Not, not two, not one. Three months. Um, and us, as knowing, knowing kind of the training aspect, and at that point being trainers and certified trainers, we knew, okay, like, mm, 
not so much but again like w you know we didn't do a competition before so we're like okay maybe this is you know the, the best way to really kind of you know change our bodies and kind of really you need to progress in pro your program and you need to honestly it's a totally different thing than just being able to work out yourself to be able to coach someone and understand what someone's body needs is very different than just looking pretty on stage and having a great body give a lot of you know this is not against competitors at all and we may do a show again in the future in a different method for sure and coaching ourselves but it's really just to let you know that someone that looks great may have no clue how to train someone else or coach them train and coach them through the process of nutrition diet and you know looking good yeah. in training so I mean after six weeks we knew ourselves okay like we're really not seeing a change in our bodies I mean we were because just of our diets I mean our diets yeah. were just diminishing so um, we really kind of took it upon ourselves to really kind of ignore you know the workouts that we were getting which we weren't getting besides the first one we got on day one <laughs> But we kind of pushed that aside and decided, okay, let's change it up ourselves. When we were getting bored, we were getting burnt out, and we realized that our bodies were basically hitting a plateau. So, correct. So from there, we kind of realized, you know, we worked through this competition. After the show, we binged, like most competitors do that have a very restrictive diet. We binged for probably a month or two. I, you know, my, me personally, I gained back almost 20 pounds. Yeah. So I just kind of... That was back in 2013, so now we're in 2016. So we have learned a lot. We've done a lot of research. We work with a lot of clients. Um, really just kind of figuring out the methods that, and it, again, it's customized to everybody. Everyone goes through different struggles, but it still comes down to those same principles of following a plan that's fit for you and kind of incorporating those habits. Again, it's very habit-based. Nutrition coaching is what we do. So it's everyone's different. You know, someone may eat tons of protein, may not need that change. Someone may lack a lot of protein. That's pretty common for females. Someone may have a very low-calorie diet. And they need to get reverse dieted or brought up a little bit with their calories and their macronutrients. Someone may, you know, be eating way too much or thinking they're eating nothing and they're eating a lot. So again, it's very customized and Lauren and I are very big into building relationships and really figuring out how we can help you. And that's what kind of the whole idea of why we became nutrition coaches was this show led us really to dive in and say, hey, you know, we truly do love this and we know we can help a lot of people out there because there are tons of coaches out there, including, you know, some other companies that say they're a health coach or a nutrition coach and again they you know they may not even look the part they're themselves the quick, or they just the quick buck i mean i'm not gonna lie there's people out there that are here for the quick buck and if we were here for the quick buck we definitely would not have left our jobs <laughs> or done you know taking our time to really build a foundation for ourselves to, to really truly honestly it's just to help as many people as we can like the legit we want right to help way. you we want to help you we really do <laughs> So if you want to finish up. So kind of going off of Amy's kind of piece on, you know, us being kind of working on habits and really that kind of mindset change, um, really a growth mindset is, is really kind of what we're going into. Um, again, we'll dive into more videos in, in terms of taking well, these pieces into kind of, you know, what we do. More depth. But the mind and the body are not exclusive. I think too many people don't realize that and they just want to focus on, you know, getting that six pack or the nutrition or, or whatever it is. The mind and body are not exclusive. They're not separate. They work in tandem. So you can't just work your body and not expect this to either change for the negative and really want to work on it to get it back to, you know, just get it back on, on straight, Normal, essentially. You know, so and competing, I think, really is what took us. We were actually probably in a better mental state before we competed. Then when we competed, we were an emotional mental mess. I mean, I'm just going to... You go through body swamping. It's, it's, it it's, it's, it's honestly, so. it's a, you kind of a disorder where you're honestly, you know, you're super lean. You think you should be that way all the time. And we were lean. And people know us. We were pretty lean People were telling up. me, oh my God, you look great. People, honestly, to this day, see those pictures that I have and probably don't even know how mentally, you know, I, it was exhausting. It was draining. We were bitchy and moody. I mean, <laughs> to, to name it. I mean, our family probably saw it the most because, you know, they're around us the most. Um, and you know, we both the were, I mean, of it. we're pretty, pretty miserable. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I mean, you know, it's really hard for us to admit because, you know, you know, wants to admit that they were going through kind of an experience that's supposed to be, you know, this new experience. It was supposed to be exciting. We enjoyed you know? the workouts, you know, and we've always yeah. been into training and, you know, we're athletes. So, you know, we've enjoyed that part of it, but I think we got to the point where after a couple of weeks, we're like, all right, this is getting old. Like, you know, and we were doing it for ourselves. Like there was no, there was no gain for us to do it. It just was actually, it's very expensive to compete. So it, it was our decision to say, Hey, let's just do this for ourselves as a challenge. It seems like, you know, everyone else is doing it. Let's, you know, like we probably can do, be, do well, do well at this. And we honestly didn't really place that well because, you know, it wasn't, 
you know, again, it's very subjective, the shows, and again, it's a whole other video. But again, it's just the idea of that competing. There's a whole other realm to it. And let me add, it's not the competing piece so much. It's competing on a restrictive diet with an unknowledgeable coach. Right. So I do want to make that clear that it's not the competing piece because... Yes. We eventually yes. really do want to compete again, but we want to do it in a healthy way. Because the way we did it was was very unhealthy mentally and physically is kind of what we're going into is the mind and body. So yeah, I was kind of I was I kind of brought it to the side a little bit. So, so we're, we're, in, we're, we're in it together. together. Back we're in. <laughs> but it really it really is the mindset, and I think it's it's for you know people forget and people that maybe compete a lot they you don't know like they look great and people say oh you look awesome like what are you doing and by all means you can share that and I'm sure those tricks and trades might work for a little bit but really it's a lifestyle and something that's sustainable something that you can enjoy in the process it's a journey so if you're not enjoying it and you're not doing it for you know the underlying reasons of your own why then it's probably not worth it and it's not something you're gonna be able to do for a long time yeah so, so to tie it all together, I know it's a little bit longer than we probably wanted to go, but it's people that know us, Lauren and I are talkers. So <laughs> we like to chat and kind of really dive into certain little pieces. But, you know, like I mentioned when we first started this video, this is kind of a little intro as to why we do what we do, you know, and then we'll be diving into kind of what we do on a little more of a, you know, a vague basis, but kind of going over what we do and how we can maybe, you know, help you get your nutrition on track. And again, it's a lifestyle change. And, and I do coach actually a couple competitors, but it's doing it the right way. I'm not giving someone like I have people come to me and say I want you to give me meal for meal for meal for meal now maybe for like a couple days I'll give you suggestions to kind of help get into that routine and then that kickstart again this is probably more so the next video yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna show her. <laughs> See, I just can't help it. I just want to like share and help. But all right, so that's for next video. Um, but again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And again, anything you guys want us to go over, we'll start doing maybe a and a video if you have any questions and, and you know specifically for nutrition, fitness, even just like the mindset and lifestyle. Um, you know, Lauren and I have really been diving into really creating a very holistic approach and integrated approach. You know, in terms of recovery, nutrition, and our fitness and our training, and really making it enjoyable. Something that we want to do for the rest of our lives. Because to be honest, before our show, we really did truly we were training. You know, for soccer of course but also training because we really truly enjoyed it not to say we didn't enjoy it throughout that contest prep but we definitely got out of why we truly were training it was more of a chore than us really enjoying it for honestly I work out more for this not necessarily for my body yeah that's a great you know great result of it and you know working towards getting leaner and just also just being happy with where I'm at every piece of the journey and then ultimately saying hey you know what I'm stronger I'm making progress I'm helping others and again everyone has their own motivation for why they do what they do but that's mine. so thank you for watching and supporting us and you know hopefully you guys will want to come back and and watch our, Tune our in. you know kind of part two but again we'll be doing you know plenty of other videos so we're sticking to it all right guys have a great weekend all right. and we'll be in bye, touch guys. bye